Hey everyone, my name is Christina Wilcox and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. Today we are going to be going over how to figure out your Enneagram type. So the first thing and the most obvious thing that you can do to figure out your Enneagram type would be to take an online quiz. When you Google Enneagram test, there are tons that pop up and it can be kind of overwhelming and confusing. So I've included my favorite online free and paid Enneagram tests for you to take in the description box below. Online quizzes are a great way to kind of dip your feet into the Enneagram and get an understanding of what number you might be. I would highly recommend to answer all the questions as honestly and truthfully as you can. Even if it kind of hurts, even if you don't really like the answer, being honest with yourself is such a huge part of what the Enneagram actually is and if you want to make sure that you get your actual Enneagram type by the end of the quiz, being honest with yourself will help you achieve that. The other thing to keep in mind is to answer the questions as who you have been most of your life. If you answer the questions in the mindset of who you want to be or who you think you should be or who you wish you were, the answer isn't going to be accurate. Once you take a quiz and you get an Enneagram number as a result, the best thing that you can do is to start doing some research. Now, I fully recommend going to the website, the Enneagram Institute, to read a full description of your type. In that full description, it goes over the core desires and core fears and behavioral patterns and you'll get an understanding of the Enneagram lingo per se so that you can see if this is the type you actually resonate with. That website holds a wealth of information regarding each Enneagram type, regarding misidentifications with another type, relationship pairings, it has it all. So I highly recommend visiting that website. The next thing that I would suggest would be to listen to podcasts. There are so many podcasts that talk about the Enneagram and that interview people with different Enneagram numbers and it just really gives you such a cool perspective of yourself and of other people. And the ones that I really enjoy listening to are Typology by Ian Morgan Cron and The Enneagram Journey with Suzanne Stabile. Both of those podcasts are wonderful and I highly recommend them. Now, after you've done all of your researching, if you want to go even more in depth to figuring out your Enneagram type and diving deeper into what it means to be your type, I highly recommend getting some Enneagram books. A few of my favorite books include Dress to the Nine, which is a super small Enneagram book that is actually a murder mystery story where each character represents a different Enneagram type and the character you resonate most with is actually supposed to connect you to which Enneagram type you are. And in the back of the book, there's information about the Enneagram itself and the different type descriptions and all of that. It's one of the most fun and unconventional ways for you to learn about your Enneagram. If you're just not into taking tests and doing all that, this is a really fun and quick read and will really help you figure out your type. The Road Back to You by Ian Morgan Cron and Suzanne Stabile. This one is great if you want to just skip the test, skip the research, and just read the book and try and figure it out. I highly recommend doing that. It is the most helpful book if you are wanting to get into the Enneagram. The Path Between Us by Suzanne Stabile. That book is more in the context of who your Enneagram is in relationship with other people. Pairing those books together, you kind of get both perspectives of this is why I do what I do and this is why I do what I do with other people. And it's just so helpful, very insightful. The last book I would suggest if you're really wanting to go deep, dig in, and go all into the Enneagram would be The Sacred Enneagram by Chris Hewart. That book is definitely more of a read in the best way possible and you will get a full understanding of the Enneagram and your Enneagram type by reading that book. The last thing that I would suggest for you if you want to figure out your Enneagram type and dive deeper into it would be to reflect. This could be in the context of Enneagram coaching and doing Enneagram coaching 
coaching sessions one-on-one -on -one with someone or just implementing habits into your life to become a more self-aware person in general. The more self-aware you become just in your normal everyday life, the easier it will be for you to figure out your Enneagram number. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the information I provided was helpful. Again, everything that I talked about will be in the description box below with links for you to access at any time. See you again next week for next week's video. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon.